Okay, so this question uh, is about 3D coordinates. So we have to remember some basics that 3D coordinates go in the order of the X number, the Y number, then the Z number. And we're always thinking of following the coordinate system we've been given. So we always go along the X first. Always start at 0, 0, 0. And then work your way along. And so we go X, um, and then Y, and then Z. And that's the way this one's been laid out. Remember, these axes can be in different orientations, so uh, just watch for what orientation they've used in the question. So let's have a look. So the coordinates of vertex M is 5, 3, 2, so X, Y, and Z. So if we start at the centre, then to get to M, we follow the outside of the box. So this must have been 5 for the X. Uh, then the Y tells us to go to the top of the box, so that's worth 3. And then we've come to the front of the box, uh, which is following the Z direction. And everything here has a Z direction of 2 on this front of the box. The top of the box, everything has a Y coordinate of 3. And the bottom of the box, then everything has a Y coordinate of 0. Anything on this side has an X coordinate of 5. So it's, that's the kind of way to think about these questions. So it says work out the coordinates of the midpoint of L to N. So we need to know the coordinate of L. So L is there. So to get to L, uh, start at 0. And we don't have to move anything in the direction uh, there. So the X coordinate for L will be 0. Um, it is on the top of the box, though. So we have to go up to the top of the box. And that had a Y coordinate of 2. Uh, sorry, uh, 3. So that had a Y coordinate of 3. And we do then have to come to the front of the box, and that had a Z coordinate of 2, so that's the L coordinate. We then get the coordinate for N, and work out the coordinates of the midpoint of L to N. Okay, so N's over here. And so to get to N, we come across there, which was 5. We then go to the top of the box, which was 3. But we've not had to come forward to the front of the box, so the Z coordinate is zero. So midpoint of coordinates, um, it's like halving of two numbers. So we add up the coordinates, so five, six, and two. And then we can halve that. So the answer here will be two and a half, three, and one. That's one method. Um, another method is you could connect L and N and you could use your logic. I want to go halfway between. So halfway between means I must have come halfway along there, which would have been two and a half. I have come to the top of the box, so that would have a coordinate of three. And I have come halfway along here. Well, halfway along there, well, it was two all the way along there. So halfway would have been one. So again, could use logic halfway to the top of the box and then halfway back. So again, lots of different ways of uh, doing that to get the two and a half, three and one.